Definitely have a chat with Sally in a second. First, let's uh, talk about well, one of the real success stories of uh, our local football scene this season, St Neitz, who have been in fantastic form. They clinched promotion from the Southern First Division Central at the weekend with a cracking win against North Greenford United. So promotion secured. Let's have a chat with Mike Cairns, who's their chairman. Evening to you, Mike. Evening, Nick. How are you? Yeah, very well, thanks, Mike. Not as good as you, I imagine. Are the celebrations <laughs> still continuing? Uh, they've, they've stopped for a couple of days until next Saturday. We're off again next Saturday, I think, at Ashford. <laughs> OK, well, yeah. you've... I mean, you've experienced, you've experienced uh, a lot of success in your time at, at St Neitz, but just how did it feel to achieve the goal? You set the goal out for promotion at the, the start of the season. How did it feel to finally get over that line? Uh, very relieved, to be honest with you. You know, when we started this season, you know, it was a bit tongue-in-cheek when I said I think we'd win it because um, we didn't know what the opposition was but um, you know we've come through tremendously this year we've scored 113 goals um, we've been absolutely brilliant and the good thing about it is we played football so I'm, I couldn't be more happy with Dennis and the boys Yeah he's done a great job hasn't he Dennis Green? Yeah he has he's, he's a great manager we're good friends um, that's one of the things we're, we're bound together you know we're good mates we work at it together we both think the same way and we both work very hard at it any idea yet, uh, Mike, which league you'll be in next year? Because uh, it's, it's always difficult to tell, isn't it? I, I guess you'd love to be in the same division as Cambridge City if they don't go up. Well, we do. Yeah, we do. As far as we know, it's going to be in, in the Southern League Premier. Um, and we want that, to be honest with you, because um, we've seen a few of the teams. There are more local teams if you, if, uh, around, and we don't really want to go into Ryman. But as far as we know, and we haven't heard anything different, we're going into the Premier of the um, Southern League. OK, and, and that would be a lovely local derby if Cambridge City don't get up. Playing a local derby against them would be a highlight for you, I imagine. Uh, well, it will, but, you know, local teams, I'd like to see them go up. Um, you know, um, Dennis knows Gary very well, and, you know, we wish them luck in their, in, their, in their playoffs if they get to the playoffs, and we wish them every success. And, you know, if we play them, we play them, then great. If we don't, then fine as well, because, you know, we like them to, to, to succeed. We think they deserve it, to be honest with you. Yeah. What does the future hold uh, in the summer then for Sydney? Are you, you going to do a lot of squad strengthening, or do the players that have got you there give you a you know give you a real dilemma because you want to give them a go, I guess? Yeah. To be honest, Nick, you know this team has been built over the last two years, um, and it's been built for Southern League Premier or Blue Square South, and it, it's a very, very, very good footballing team. We we evolve. We add a bit of experience here and there. You know, we, we've got guys on contract, long-term contract, certain players like Stefan Moore. Um, and we will add to it if we need, but it's a very, very good team. Um, my biggest problem is going too fast too soon. And I've got to yeah. be very careful. Yeah, that, I mean, it's, it's a good point you make there, isn't it? Because it, it's always the, the heart and the head argument. With your heart, obviously, you want to spend the money and, and start progressing up the leagues as quickly as possible. But you've got to cut, cut your cloth accordingly. You don't want to make the same mistakes that other sides have made. Well, yeah, and you know you know what goes on in, in some of the clubs, and it's very unfortunate, but, you know, St. Neitz Town won't be one of those. And, you know, if I've, got to, if I've got to have a consolidation for two years while we bring other players or youth players in or whatever, you know, we're only going to go as far as we can afford to. Um, you know, I'm always there in, in the background on the financial side, but, you know, that's not what it's about. The club's got to run itself. We've got a great facility at, at St. Neitz Town, better than most people, and we've got a good lot of avenue, uh, current avenues streams where we can get cash in so you know and our and our, our dates are great as well you know i think we're besides cambridge united we've probably got the best gates i was going to say i think you had 800 did you at the weekend yeah 817 um we had a thousand against slough um we're averaging just over 430 that is seriously improved since Christmas um, to get us there. And if we can get seven or 800 at every home game, and we see no reason why not, um, we could be tapping on that door next year. Absolutely. Great. Great stuff. Well, Mike, listen, very well done for this season. Hope the success continues next season. I'm sure we'll speak to you again over the summer. I dare say you will. Hopefully, anyway.
Okay, then, Nick. Thanks a lot. Certainly, well, that's Mike Cairns from St. Nears, and what a fantastic achievement from them. Big congratulations. I'll tell you what, they've turned the tunnel out. I was going to say, yeah, they've turned that tunnel down, and there it goes in full blast again. Andy Abbott's still with me talking non league football. How big an achievement is that for St. Nears going up this season? I think it's a, a marvellous, oh, it's a big, really big achievement because you know, they, they were in that uh, United Counties League for so long. They've had a lot of hiccups along the way, they've, they've been close to, to folding. They had the, the, they've sold the ground and they're developing a centre there which is quite excellent I mean I know Cambridge United have, have been using it and we're here tonight Peterborough United that, that all weather pitch especially when they had that uh, term smell after Christmas when you know no games were played both the professional sides could train so they're building a, a, a centre there which is for the community I and mean, we've just been talking about that so it really is a big achievement for them to project themselves up the pyramid and Cambridge City could be playing them next year obviously we hope City get up in the playoffs but that would be a bit of a tasty local derby well it will be because St Nears have got a real, real good uh, fan base over there I mean they're averaging I suppose from when I've been there 350, 400 a game now and now if you get into the Southern League there are one or two teams Bedford for example not too far down the road you know they're going to get five, six, seven, eight hundred. and uh, some games I mean they played I think Kings Lynn last year over a thousand there so you know, they are a club that will attract people in and it's just nice and handy just off the A1 and uh, you know it, it will really benefit them Mike Kearns, uh, Mark Johnson's here, our Cambridge United commentator. Mike Kearns was just talking to us about the importance of cutting your cloth accordingly and it's a theme that is running through Cambridge United now and he's going to run through all of our local clubs. It's something which everyone's starting to realise now. Absolutely right and it's something that UEFA have been trying to bring in with their fair play schemes and whatever and it's nice to see that here in Cambridgeshire we're actually leading the way with that sort of thinking. Yeah, and Cambridge United cut their budget by 25% of course. I think, I think that's really important because we've seen so many teams in recent years, I mean I can name one or two that have come through the Southern League who haven't cut their cut, 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 coat according to their cloth and they've just departed by the wayside and I think it's important that Mike Cairns, he's got ambition but he's going to do it with, with a cool head on his shoulders and a, you know slowly slowly go forward you know one step at a time and hopefully he'll get there but I mean it, that's important to set the signal I'm not going to s- spend big money it'll send a signal to the players who might think oh I could fancy going to St Nates next year oh, it's a big, there's going to be big wages there well obviously Mike Kenzie said no we'll play what we can afford and he'll get a team that hopefully will progress yeah and he wants to stick with some of those players that have, or all of those players that have helped get them up it's important that isn't it because you don't want to upset the apple cart I think it's very important because you really one of the things to get out of that division you need a, a team you need a unit and uh, he's got a unit there I mean I know Stefan Moore comes a long way he comes from Birmingham but he stayed loyal to them you know he's, he's been around the scene for a long Former time Premier League striker yeah course. exactly right and he stayed loyal and he's obviously enjoying himself at St Nears so you know hopefully he, he will have the ability he's played I know he played for, for teams around the, the West Midlands in this Southern League so he knows the league so he'll be a benefit to the rest and stick, give your players a chance and Shane Tolley as well who scored goals so hopefully they will, they will progress yeah absolutely and it's going to be a thriving local football scene hopefully uh, Histon will stay up and we're going to have Cambridge United in the conference Histon in the conference north and possibly two sides in the Southern Premier hopefully the the Lily Whites will get up as well but I mean the team's starting to thrive a bit well it is I mean it's a very good I mean I think that the, 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 the non-league scene I think over the next few years has the ability pro- to progress you know it is all about money at the top level people who like football can afford to go at that level they can't afford to go to the top of the premiership side and once you get a team that's successful people will pay the, their £10 on a Saturday afternoon they'll come down here to the Abbey and to, to watch a good game of football and, and I think they, they will have the ability to get people on the terraces more local football to come here on BBC